Hello everyone and welcome back again for another video. What we're going to do today is we're going to take a Acer Chromebook 11 C740 and uh, we're going to convert it to Windows 10. Uh, first thing you got to do is pop your back off and I got my back off here. There's you know all the screws in the back there. Just pull those out and if you look right uh, in the back here you should see like a little lip right about in this area right about there you can usually get your uh little tool under there to uh pry that off and then stick your fingers under there and pop it all off and it should come right off uh the next thing i'm going to do here is i'm going to take out the uh right protect screw and that can be found right here next to where the battery plugs in and then you got like a little black thing right there where the speaker plugs in uh there's a little screw Let's see if we can get that in the camera there little screw right there that we're going to take out Let's see if i can do this with one hand this one right here there we go and uh, we'll just set that in our little pile of screws right there and uh that's all we need to do for now i'm going to pop that cover back on um, I'm going to change this out. This is just a little 16 gig uh, SATA uh, M.2 drive. I'm going to change this out for 128 gig, but we're not going to worry about that right now. First, we want to uh, get this into developer mode and then uh, we'll get going on this. So uh, hold tight here and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I've done now is I hit escape, refresh, and power at the same time escape refresh power and let it boot up a little bit and what i got is this here screen right here now we want to get to uh what what this is this is recovery mode now what we need to do is uh go into uh developer mode uh to do that we're going to take control and d at the same time so we're going to go control d and as you can see, we got this screen to turn your OS verification off, press enter. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and press enter and uh, let that reboot. OS verification is off. Press space to re-enable. Now, we're not going to hit space. We're just going to hit enter. Oops. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, so anyways, you just hit enter and uh, you wait just a, a minute or two and then you're gonna get this screen that says your, your system is transitioning into developer mode. Local data has been cleared. Okay, and this will take a little bit of time. So we'll let it do its thing and then I'll come back when we get our next screen. Okay, so this is the next screen you should be seeing. It says preparing system for developer mode. This may take a while. Now, if you look up in the corner here, I don't know if it'll focus, kind of, uh, you'll get a, a ETA of uh, how long this is going to take. So, uh, yeah, you, like I said, you got to give this a little bit. It's at, what, 26% right there. Uh, I'll cut this here. We'll wait till it gets to 100%, and then we will continue with this. Okay, now we're back at this screen where it says OS verification is off. Press space to enable. Just uh, go ahead and hit enter. And uh, the you'll hear that beep. And it should reboot here. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to connect to a network because we're going to need internet access to do what we want to do here. So let's go ahead and click the uh, hamster net here that's uh the wi-fi network here and let me put in my password hold on okay so we're gonna <coughs> excuse me accept and continue uh we can uncheck this we don't need that shit checking for updates yeah figures it would do this crap Okay, sign into your Chromebook. Now, we're not going to sign into it. What we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we're just going to browse as a guest. Now that we're in guest mode, we can uh, go ahead and... Uh, <coughs> damn, excuse me. 
sorry here. Uh, go ahead and press uh, Control Alternate T to get a shell, and it's Control. Oh, let's see if I can do this one with just one hand here. Uh, nope, I can't. But it's going to be Control Alt T. Push those at the same time, and uh, that'll open up a uh, command prompt. One second here. Okay, there's our command prompt with uh, Control Alt T. Now we're going to type in shell S H E L L hit enter and we're at Kronos localhost now we can start putting some commands in here let me type those commands in real quick and I'll come back okay I put my commands in and I don't know I don't think you're gonna be able to see them too well on the screen the screen's so damn tiny but uh, I'll leave a link in the description there of what these commands are but we're gonna type that command in and we're gonna hit enter and uh, it's going to uh, say, we trust you have received the usual lecture, blah, 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 and password. Now, the password for this, usually on these, uh, this this is, I'm kind of doing this in the raw, so I'm, I'm not going to try a bunch of different passwords. But it's usually T-E-S-T-0-0-0-0 and hit enter. Let's see if that worked. Sorry, try again. Uh, <laughs> all right great so i got to figure out what the password is hold on let me uh get back to you on that okay so so what i had to do to get in was actually do something else i pushed Control alt and the forward button at the same time which give me this screen and then it asked for the login i typed in root and for password i typed in t-e-s-t -E zero 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 and now you can see i am uh root <laughs> so now i can go ahead and type in the commands that i wanted to type in before that weren't working so hold on let me do that <sighs> okay got that typed in and uh let's go ahead and hit enter see if it works this time Getting device system info. I think we're rocking now. <clears throat> All right. Chrome OS firmware utility script. Now we're, what we're going to do is we're going to install the uh, full ROM th firmware. And that's going to be option three. We can do uh, option one, too, if we want. If we're going to do multiple OSs. Uh, but uh, we're going to do the full one since this is going to be a conversion to Windows 10 completely. So uh, we're going to go ahead and push uh, menu option number three and hit enter. And it says standard disclaimer flashing the firmware as a potential of blah, blah, blah. Do you want to back it up uh, or whatever? Do you wish to continue? We'll hit enter. Uh, You'll need to install UFI compatible OS. Chrome OS will no longer be bootable. And that's with option three. Now with option one, uh, you're not going to get that message. So uh, we're going to go, yes, continue. I'm not going to back it up because uh, I'm going to completely change this to UEFI. So we're going to hit enter there. Um, in case we should return to stock. stock firmware now okay so what it's going to do now is it's going to uh, download the ROM that we need for the uh, BIOS firmware installing full ROM firmware may take 90 seconds yeah shouldn't take that long Okay, the firmware has been successful. Let's hit enter to return to the main menu. And we're going to hit R to reboot. And what we should see now. After it reboots, give it a second here.
is a little rabbit. Now, we're going to go to a EFI shell um, because, of course, we don't have a uh, installation uh, media in there or nothing like that. Uh, if I want to, I can go ahead and here it is. I got a Windows 10 1909 here. And uh, I'll push the power button. And then I'll uh, power it back on. And just to show you this real quick. Oops. Need our boot options here. Okay, uh, default boot, boot menu. And we're going to tell it to boot from the uh, USB SanDisk Cruiser Glide that I got in here. My bad. All right. <clears throat> it's been a while since I've done this, so I'm a little, a little rusty. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's what we needed to do there. Um, give it just a second, and you should. There it is. You see the Windows... Uh, the, thing loading there to install windows so there we go um like i said uh i gotta install the uh m.2 drive in here instead of that 16 gig that's in there right now uh so that should be here tomorrow so we'll continue this video scene here uh when that uh, new m.2 gets here and we'll put that in and then uh, we'll continue the windows installation and i'll show you how the rest of this is going to go Okay, before I, do, before I do the actual Windows installation, I just want to show you this real fast. Um, let me go ahead and boot this up, and I'm going to hit the Escape key to get to the, uh, to the uh, Chromebook uh, boot menu here. And we're going to go down here under Boot Menu, hit Enter, and go to the Cruiser one more time. Uh, now, I'm not going to actually install Windows, but uh, I figured I better go over this for some of you that are going to use that same uh, SATA drive that's in here, that 16 gig. That's probably not enough. You might want to bump that up to like a 32 gig. That's more than likely not going to work. But uh, the important thing that I'm going to show you here is, uh, is the partitioning on this. Now, let me switch the... Uh, there we go. Uh We'll go ahead and click next here. Click install now. <clears throat> Give it just a second here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we're going to click. I don't have a product key. We'll skip that for now. Uh, Windows 10 Home. Okay. Uh, accept the terms, click next, do a custom install. Now, you, this is actually what I wanted to show you. The whole point of this is to show you all these partitions here. There is like tons of them. Now, what you're going to need to do is you're going to actually need to go in here and uh, delete every one of these partitions. Every one of them. Delete. Okay. Delete. Let me go on here and do all this. Yeah, this this is a lot easier to do if you have a uh, mouse that you can plug into one of the USB ports. Um, sometimes I'll use like my. Uh, k400 my logitech k400 which has got like the uh keyboard and the uh trackpad on it which makes it nice and it only gets plugged into one port and that'll work just fine as well but uh yeah otherwise you can just do it with the trackpad down below i believe that works i think no it doesn't so yeah you're gonna have to use a mouse since this trackpad is not working so, yeah, make sure you got a mouse plugged in there. Like I said, I'm a little rusty at this. It's been a while since I've done this. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, so there you see that we've got uh, disk zero unallocated space 
uh, 14.9 gigs. And this is actually what you want to see on the screen is just that one little space right there, all unallocated. And then you can go ahead and click next and start your Windows install. But uh, like I said, I'm not going to install, actually install it on here. I just wanted to show you that partitioning thing before we get into the uh, Windows install itself. Otherwise, uh, this install is going to be just like normal. Uh, when you normally install Windows 10, you just go through the, uh, the uh, setup process. So there's no point in showing you that. But uh, we'll cut here after I have Windows 10 installed on, uh, well, no, I guess well, I'll show you the, the new uh, SATA drive before I uh, do the install. But uh, we're going to cut here for just a sec. So real quickly, before I get into the uh, Windows install and the drivers and all that shit, um, if you don't want to change out the uh, SATA drive that's in here, that 16 gig drive, but you do want to experiment with another operating system. Another option that you can go with is uh, just install uh, Linux on it. Uh, this one, I uh, did this real quick like so I could show you this. Um, I installed uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon on it. Uh, it's actually pretty nice. Uh, the nice thing about installing Linux is you don't have to dick around with all the drivers and bullshit that I'm going to show you coming up here in a, in a, in a bit. Uh, it loads nice and snappy, and you uh, actually have some okay, I guess, space left on your drive after you're done doing it, uh, especially if you're using like a 16 gig uh, SATA drive like the one that comes with these uh, C740s. So, like right here, you can see I've got, I don't know if you can see it, I got 6.6 .6 gigs of free space. Now, that ain't mu much, really, but uh, if you're just using your computer for, you know, YouTube and surfing the web and, and what have you, then it's, it's not that bad. Um, you know, you know, you don't really need much more space than that. Maybe just store a few files, something you can transfer later to your main computer. But uh, Linux absolutely works fantastic on this. Um, let's just go do a video real quick. Uh, something that isn't going to annoy us too much. Let's see if we can find something. Something interesting to watch here. Uh, okay, here we go. And we'll see what kind of resolution we get out of this. Um, so, it's not easy, as, as you know. Uh, and of uh, it shows 1080. We'll see what 1080p does in Linux. Not bad at all. I tell you what, that looks really, really good. Really good. I'm actually really, really impressed. Uh, so look at that, it's nice and smooth. And let's see if we can see some uh, stats for nerds here. What this is running at in 1080. So you can see the resolution is 1366 by 768. Um, but uh, otherwise, yeah, it's running great uh, when I crank it up all the way to 1080p, even though it's not actually 1080p resolution. Um, so I suppose I could probably crank that down to like 720 or something, and it would probably still look about the same. Yeah, pretty much. But, I mean, yeah, if you wanted to, you could absolutely take it up to 1080. But, uh, all right, uh, enough of that shit. Uh, let's get back to the Windows portion of this. But anyways, now that uh, my uh, new drive has came, it's a King Spec uh, 2242 sized uh, 128 gig M.2 drive. And here that is here. Um, 
I'm going to take this one out. This is the one that I uh, had Linux on. I'm going to save that for something else. Who knows? But uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, pull that out and uh, replace it with a 128 gig drive. And then we're going to do the exact same procedure that uh, I showed you before um, with installing Windows 10. Except uh, we're going to do the actual install. And uh, let me go ahead and get that... Uh, installed on here and then uh but an another thing we can also do is uh we could put the right screw right protect screw back in so i'm going to go ahead and put the right protect screw back in get this installed get windows installed and then uh, we'll come back okay now that we have windows installed there's one more step we got to do and that's install some drivers to get the uh touchpad to work because right now that's not working at all i actually put it on the uh, big screen too i got it plugged into the hdmi there and uh we're going to remap the keyboard so that we can use the keyboard and we're going to install some intel storage drivers now to find that um what i like to do is go to uh coolstar.org uh and then what you're going to do is you're going to click chromebooks There we go. And then install. And then you're just going to go and you're going to click the uh, device that you have. Now I have the Acer C740, so I'm going to click Acer, click Next. Now you're going to have to choose the CPU that's in here. This one, I believe, has the Celeron 3205 in it. So I'm going to select the Celeron 3205, click Next. And if we scroll up here. We'll see the Acer C, oops, scroll back there, Acer C740. We're going to click that, click next, and you're going to see a list of different uh, drivers and stuff. Now, right here where it's got the developer mode and flash firmware instructions, uh, you can follow those instructions, but this here, you don't want to follow this uh URL right here to install it. There's actually a better one, and that's on the uh, the uh, Chromebook forums on Reddit. Uh, if you want to look at Mr. Chromebook's stuff, he actually has an updated uh, firmware that you should be using. But anyways, you can skip that on Coolstar. Uh, skip this too. Uh, this is just one that you can run from Windows. Uh, you don't need those two. Um, what you need is the rapid storage technology driver, which you're going to actually get from Intel. That's where that link leads to. And then the keyboard remap utility and the touchpad drivers. Now, I have those downloaded already. So I'm going to go ahead and ins install those. Now, the Intel storage driver, uh, you're going to extract that and click on it. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to find the... Uh, oh, which one is it? Here we go. Where it says IAAHCIC and install that one, and then this one right here, IA Store AC, install that one. You just right click on them and uh, click install. See right there, right click install. That's all I did there. Now we can go back and we can go ahead and install the keyboard. and the touchpad. And we give it a real quick test here and we see that the touchpad is now working. So yeah, and the keyboard is remapped. So this is pretty much done. Uh, I just got to enter the uh, the product key and I got to go purchase one of those for it. But uh, otherwise, this is done. This is uh, a nice little snappy laptop. Uh, now, it's a nice little Windows 10 uh, Chromebook, I guess you'd, you'd call it. And uh, these are actually pretty impressive. I've done this several times. Like I said, I'm a little rusty. Uh, I haven't done one in a while. But... Uh, 
yeah, I mean, the, it went pretty smooth for me here. I got Windows installed. It's all running great. Uh, and uh, it's really easy to do, you know. I mean, I, I, for me it is, you know, since I've done it a zillion times. But uh, you just follow along the uh, <clears throat> instructions like on Reddit uh, for it. Uh, use, like I said, Mr. Chromebook's uh, firmware to do this. And uh, you should have a nice little laptop when you're done. So uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you again in the next video.